Okay, so a few days ago, for the first time since the election last year, over a year ago, BarackObama.com, when you visit it, featured a splash page. Um, now, why does this matter? Well, typically when you're running a major political website, um, a splash page is what you use to really jack up your email sign-up rate. Um, what you use to get people to sign up for your email updates, get on your list so they can fundraise, so they can ask you to do stuff more efficiently. Um, really, for the first time since the election, this is the first time we've seen anything like this. Um, for, most, for the most part, if you go to their site, this is what you see. It's, it's their homepage with all different sorts of options and all different sorts of news articles um, and ways of getting involved. You see a store, you see support health reform, you see donate, um, with a little email sign up thing right in the header there, but not anything that is too prominent. Now, what, what you'll notice if you go back to this page is there's a different version of this up. Instead of the president on a, in, in front of a flag, you see him in, on a tan background. You see in the call out right there says stand with the president and the button says learn more. This is what's normally known as A-B testing. Now they didn't just change one, they didn't just change the picture, they changed the call out down there and they changed the button. What else did they change? Actually, quite a lot. And this is, um, as an example, let's reload this. And you'll see that, uh, once again, it's the learn more. Now, it's a blue background. The president's picture is the same, but it's a blue background with a quote there that says, uh, that ends with, let's finish the job. The call out says fired up. The uh, button says, let's go. Now, what happens if you reload it? Once again, the president in front of a flag, stand with the president and learn more. And you see all of these sorts of combinations. Now, here, you see the quote changed. So, they are basically A-B testing on a number of different variables and to see which one, which type of splash page actually generates the most signups. So this will be very interesting at the end of the day when they um, cho choose a final version, which one uh, actually performed the best. Was it the tan one? Was it the flag? Was it fired up and ready to go? See, that button is slightly different. It's not let's go, it's ready to go. So this is very, very interesting and something, quite frankly, I didn't see them doing um, during the campaign very much at all. Um, it might be a sign, though, that uh, um, it might actually be a sign that uh, their subscription rate has certainly gone down as the president's core supporters are maybe not as enthused by the lack of progress, let's say, on health care reform or on Afghanistan, um, that we are actually, we may be actually seeing, what we may actually be seeing is a sign that they can't quite produce the same response that they did during the campaign. So they're going to use kind of basic marketing 101 and testing to figure out how they can get that sign-up rate back up and, and start recruiting more people.